Shane Gebauer, General Manager of Brushy Mountain Bee Farm. And today I'd like to show you how to use our fume pad and natural honey harvester. Natural honey harvester is essentially the same as Bego, except it smells so much better. Bego has a terrible odor, which will permanently taint anything it comes in contact with or is even close to. Natural Honey Harvester is a mixture of essential oils that has a pleasant almond odor about it. So to use this, what we're going to do is uh, extract or harvest these three supers that I've got on this hive. And I've got a fume pad here. This is an eight frame hive, so I've got an eight frame fume pad. And all this is, is a sheet of aluminum on one side and flannel on the inside. The flannel helps hold the moisture of the natural honey harvester and the aluminum helps evaporate it with the sun beaming down on it. And as it does evaporate, it settles down through the hives and the bees are moved down super by super. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do this. I'll give my bees a little smoke here. How fast it works is really dependent on temperature and how sunny the day is. It's not not too hot today, but also not too cold. It's about, uh, I don't know, maybe 70 degrees or so. And uh, it's fairly sunny with a little bit of haze in the sky, so we should have some pretty good success. So I've pulled off my cover. And now what I'm going to do is take my fume pad and my natural honey harvester, you can see it's just got a little spray bottle. And I'm just going to moisten this. Getting good coverage over all of that flannel material. And then you can see it sits right on top of the super. It doesn't fit down over like a telescoping top. With the sun beaming down on this, it's evaporating, settling down, pushing the bees out of this first super. It ought to take about 10 minutes or so to uh, evacuate this first super. We'll pull this one off and then set it down on this one and we'll just keep on going. Now, if I had multiple hives to harvest, I would have several of these and I'd have them laid out across the hives and I can just simply go down the line pulling those supers off. It works really well and doesn't smell nearly as bad as Bego. So, we'll give this some time and we'll check back in about 10 minutes. All right, well, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's see how we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and remove the fume pad. There's a few bees still in there, but no matter what method you use, you're always going to have a few bees left over. The other thing that I should mention is that if you've got brood in any of your supers, bees are really reluctant to leave brood. And so, they're still going to be uh, hanging out if you've got brood in there. Let's just uh, glue it in. A couple of bees, but otherwise down between the frames is empty. So I'll pull this one off. And now I'm going to put it on the next one. It looks like they're already starting to empty out that one, so it might not take as long. And I'm just going to keep working my way down like this. If I find that the time is taking, it's taking a little bit more time for it to work, I can reapply a little bit of that natural honey harvester to get that fume pad working for me again. That's all there is to it. That's a fume pad natural honey harvester. Hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching and have a good day.